two people with a smoke, a flash, and a nade. If you want to get double flashes because you're running the strat multiple times, maybe against the same team, that's possible too to make it look a little different. The general idea here is you're going to have two people towards the A bomb site and three people waiting back mid. The two people A are going to be throwing a smoke top stairs and bottom stairs. To make it look like a full A hit, they're going to throw one flash over while one runs out. The whole idea here is that you pull the CTs towards the A bomb site. There's normally two guys A, you want to keep them there, and you want to keep the window room player moving towards A. Wait when that happens and the smokes pop. Right after they throw the flashes, you wait a couple seconds back mid, then you three with armor round the corner, sprint right up catwalk, and try to catch the guy rotating off catwalk. And hopefully, worst case, you fight a three on one at the B bomb site. Best case, they might have fully rotated by the time you get up cat. So now we're going to go in game. I'm going to show you exactly how to run this. For this T pistol on Mirage, we're going to be sending two guys towards A and three back mid. So the first guy, A, is going to do as follows. You're going to go to smoke, flash, and a nade. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to get here with your other teammate, and three are going to be waiting back mid. Once you're both set, you're pretty much going right away. Your job is to come to the center pillar here, line up the smoke, right off the left side of this pillar, and down a little. Right when you throw the smoke, what's going to happen is it's going to land here while your teammate's smoke lands on top of the stairs. What this should do is it should keep the 1A player here spawn focused on ramp. Another guy's probably by the stairs on the common CT default. He might try to come through the smoke. And then the CT player over here might try to rotate. So your job as this player is after you throw the smoke, you're going to wait a second. You're going to throw a flash and then drop with it. So what you're trying to do is just get it here and clear. At this point, you should have a nade left, and your job is to just help sell the flake. So obviously this guy is not smoked off. Your teammate behind you is going to be throwing another flash, as I'll show you in a second. And then when you come up, you try to just sell the fake. You should still have a nade, so if you see the guy spawn and he drops, you could try to get a big nade off of, or you could just come out here and hold for someone and try to do damage as best as possible and sell the fake. All right, so the second guy on this T-Pistol on Mirage is going to be going towards A as well, and you're going to be throwing the bottom stair smoke, then flashing out your teammate. I bought a smoke flash nade, but if you want, you could also buy smoke flash flash so your team could have more flash to get out your teammate. So you're coming here, going pretty much right away, right when your other teammate's ready. You coordinate a time, throw at the same time. You're throwing the top stairs smoke. He's throwing the bottom stairs smoke. I'll throw that just to show you, for example. What your other teammate's going to be doing is he's going to be going out to sell the fake. So after you throw that smoke, you could jump up here to throw some flashes. You get to this spot right here. You throw a pop flash over for your teammate to to get out, and if you want to throw another, you could pretty much come here and throw another flash. If you have another nade, throwing a grenade like this is pretty good, because a lot of times people try to push through this smoke right here and get a kill, so throwing that grenade is good. If he gets out and gets killed right away, you might want to follow up, but other than that, you can go back middle and uh, kind of play the late round with the rest of your team. All right, so the final piece to the puzzle for this strat here is three players going to be back mid. So what they're going to be doing is waiting for the two players to throw their A smokes, and they should be ready pretty pretty quick. So once you get here, you're going to stop, and you're just going to get into a hold position. So you're going to want to put like one maybe up here, one right under him, and then you might want to play like one hiding here for the sake of maybe if the team's push or throw a flash, they could hide. But basically what you're waiting for is you're waiting for your three A player or your two A players to throw smokes to pull the CT defense over to the A bomb site. So as those smokes pop, you give it a couple seconds, you hear the smokes bloom, and after a couple seconds, all three of you are going to round this corner and sprint straight up cat. So what you're most likely going to find is maybe one player swinging off cat here, or maybe some guy who jumped out window and cleared this after he realized mid was clear and they threw the A smokes, he might drop here and do this. So your goal is literally just to wait a couple seconds and catch those guys rotating so they move without while thinking mid's clear. And you're running up catwalk and you're trying to use the smokes that were thrown right here to block the A guy's visions and take a three on one on the bomb site. A lot of times when I've run this trap with my team, we get the kill on cat and then we get into the B bomb site and normally the guy B has already moved so he'll be like fighting from the doorway or the window and coming back to kill you. So as you get this kill up cat or get up cat, be aware that there's probably a guy holding an eagle over here and try to swarm together. Don't get too far ahead of anyone and jump around this corner together and take the bomb site as fast as possible and try to plant for cat your teammate that was A coming back from T-Spawn.